Are we on or are we not? There it is. There it is. Good morning, Hello. everyone. I hope our internet connection stays strong through this Facebook we'll Live. See. We've got to get you the information you need to start off your work week. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we'll talk about the weather in just a second. But first, quick reminder. Of course, you can find us live here on Facebook each and every morning, Monday through Friday, about 8 o'clock. We go live. Watch us later on your Facebook feed. The video stays up there for you. So whenever it's convenient for you, I would love it if you join us. You can also find us on our Inform YouTube channel. Also look for us on your favorite podcast platform. Just look for the Inform Minute. All right. Uh, Dylan, yesterday was uh, very warm, and it felt like you walked outside into a heat blanket. And so hopefully... Not as hot today. A heat blanket. That's what I feel like. Hmm. That's good. That's good. That's good. Good way to describe it. Yeah. I mean, it's just forecast. You know. Uh, yeah. To be fair, I warned you all of last week. Oh, like, you Sunday did. is going to be disgusting. You and did. Sunday was disgusting. It was. Yeah. It was gross. You know, today it's still a little gross out there in a few spots. Uh, Northern Minnesota still seeing some humidity, but tomorrow, mm. or not even tomorrow, through the day today, by the end of today, okay, a lot of us should have flushed out most of that humidity. Okay. Tomorrow cool. should be much more comfortable too. Um, lower humidity levels. Our next widespread chance of rain, we could see a couple showers tonight. Mm. Those are pretty light. Uh, the best widespread chance of rain comes out uh, late Wednesday into Thursday. Mm. And um, otherwise comfortable weather, we're done with the humidity for at least a while, possibly the end of summer. Oh, geez. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, it is September, and September is not a humid month. You know, like this was a kind it's of August west. Still yeah, now, it, it is still August, but September's coming up. Oh, we yeah. don't have any big time heat waves in the August forecast. So. Okay. Um, once the crops start to get towards their final stages and start to die off, corn, soybeans, I mean, corn sweats a lot. That's part of the reason why it was so humid. Mm. It's the corn sweat and the evapotranspiration. That's a fancy oh, yeah. word there. All of the moisture. That, all of the moisture that the corn sucks up. Well, corn also gives that moisture back to the air. And that's part of the reason why we were so dang humid this weekend. Yeah. Not only from here, but from Iowa, mm -hmm. from Nebraska, from, you know, southern Minnesota. With that south breeze we had on Saturday... I just brought all that humidity up to us. So, sure. Um, yeah, anyways, humidity's <laughs> gone for a little bit now. Cool. Um, nice, comfortable weather through Labor Day weekend. Just a couple of chances of showers and thunderstorms. Best chance looks late Wednesday into Thursday. All right, and, in, and even with all that humidity, not mm -hmm. a, a huge storm threat today for us nope. here or anything there, like that? There is a possibility of a few stronger storms way down to the south, okay. uh, but I'm thinking those will be south, closer to the Twin Cities than us. We could see a straight developing shower or thunderstorm sure. later on, but... Better chances are down to the south in southern Minnesota. All right. Thanks, Dylan. Yep. All right. Back to school for kids in Moorhead today. And it's also the first full school year those students at the high school will have in their new high school in Moorhead, uh, even though construction on that overall project is still ongoing. The last school to go back in the metro is going to be Fargo. Those kids head back on Wednesday. It's also a big day for college students. Classes start today for several universities. NDSU, UND, MSUM students all start the fall semester. Uh, MSUM is the only one that has a full day of classes. NDSU and UND have classes starting at four, so it's you know kind of a half day or not even a, a full day for a lot of students. Their first full day of, of uh, classes will be tomorrow. And then Concordia starts its fall semester on Wednesday. Right now, Fargo police are still searching for the suspect in that deadly shooting that happened on uh, Friday afternoon. Uh, it's the ninth homicide in the FM Metro this year. Police say 34-year-old Leo Darto shot and killed 35-year-old Samson Blay. Now, if you see Darto, do not approach him. Instead, call 911, report him and uh, what he's doing and where he's at and what he's wearing. You can see his picture right now on our website, inforum.com, or the Fargo PD's Facebook page as well. Uh, happening today, daily closures on I-94 are going to start it's part of road resurfacing in uh, a project in Moorhead. It stretches from the Red River to Highway 336, just north of the Moorhead Airport. The DOT says the road is in poor shape and resurfacing should smooth it out and extend its life. Those lane closures will happen each night from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. for the next three weeks. Crews are working overnight to try and lessen the impact of traffic while that project is going on. Meantime, today, the city of Moorhead is considering changing the rules when it comes to keeping chickens in town. A revised ordinance could double the number of chickens that some people could have. The council will have a second reading on that proposal tonight at, the, at its meeting. Uh, if you recall, last year, the council passed an ordinance that let people keep up to six chickens within city limits. Now, these proposed changes will let people with more than an acre of land have up to 12 chickens. 
Uh, the new ordinance would also expand the minimum amount of space required for each chicken, and it would also change fencing rules and uh, also allow for free range chickens uh, in certain cases. <clears throat> Uh, Zach Bryan, country music star Zach Bryan, plays his second of two shows at the Alara Center tonight. So, uh, the show is at 7 o'clock. Uh, besides the big concert, tailgating is going to be going on. There's a parking lot party before the show. That's from 3 to 6. Remember, if you're heading out there tonight, uh, plan for a lot of traffic, congestion, and uh, give yourself plenty of extra time because we know around the Alaris it, it can get kind of chaotic. So uh, plan ahead. Game week has arrived for NDSU, and the Bison will be down two starters how their absence will affect the matchup with colorado plus the first fcs upset of an fbs team has happened uh, former bison assistant and montana state head coach brent vegan joins the show to talk about the big win hot mic is live from 9 to 11 on wday extra and on inform.com don't forget for just 99 cents a month you can get your all access pass to inform.com uh, for the first three months it's only 99 cents so take advantage of that just go to inform.com slash subscribe to get the deal and be sure to join us the rest of the day for our newscast our next one's at 11 then 4 5 6 9 and 10 and we'll be back with first news tomorrow morning from 5 to 7 so uh, join us then we'd love to have you have a great day everyone